Hi guys, I am just gonna do a really super quick cocktail right now. It's only 3.30 in the afternoon, so definitely allowed to be drinking. Um, I already have been, let's face it, you know, we all are. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a very, very quick um, fruit tingle. My daughter has promised to let me record this video in exchange for sitting out the front and watching her ride her bike. So, I wanna drink to sit out the front while she rides her bike. So um, I'm gonna do a fruit tingle today. Um, now this is called a fruit tingle because it tastes like a fruit tingle, but it's also really, really cool. So I have had a couple of these um, in the last couple of weeks, but before that, the last time I had a fruit tingle was on schoolies week. Um, all right, so it's pretty simple. Uh, you're gonna do one or two shots of um, blue vock or blue, which is the citrusy triple sec with blue dye. I think I might just go with one because this has also got, no, you know what, stuff it. Two shots of blue colored citrusy liqueur. One shot of vodka. And topped up with lemonade and then you just want to leave enough space in the top because you're going to put um, top it up with some red cordial and that's what gives you the really cool effect now I'm going to try the whole spoon thing again shall I bring it closer because you really just want that red floating on top. Now I did use a cherry liqueur earlier. Oh, perhaps that didn't work as well as I expected. Oh, it still looks pretty cool. Yeah, I used a cherry liqueur um, earlier to get that red effect, but it was a little bit too much. And that might've been a little bit too much as well. It's really only a dash over the top to give it that nice purpley color. Mm. So, there you have it. Very, very quick. What are we? Two and a half minutes for a fruit tingle. Yeah, perfect. All right, we'll see you another time. Bye.